T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, T minus 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're live. Anyone that says this is VA3JUV, Humber College, checking in for schedule conflict, do you copy? Anyone that says this is VA3JUV, checking in from Humber College, schedule contact, do you copy? Anyone that says this is VA3JUV, your signal is okay, do you copy? Over. Thank you, anyone that says this is uh, VA3JUV, are you ready for your first question? How does the ISS defend itself from natural radiation such as the Van Allen belts and does any... This is our professor, Mark Rector, uh, in my old line of work, since the radio is your lifeline of her help, how many backup radio transmitters do you have on board the ISS and in the unlikely event of a uh, catastrophic failure taking out all those transmitters, how would you call for help? Well, clearly if all of our transmitters are down, we cannot call for help and we're on our own, which is why we have very specific emergency this is Patrick Nealon. Uh, do you feel that the ISS has brought the different countries together? Over. Definitely, and, and that's what's so beautiful about this project. We have all these people from all over the world who share the dream of moving human beings into space, and it doesn't matter what country you're in, that common goal is there. It's just a really nice project to be on. Over. So this has been a year and a half. What was it like that last 30 seconds before you made contact? It's nervous. It's a nerve-wracking. Nerve um, this was a do or die moment because uh, we didn't uh, have any contacts with them before. Two years into the making, between research, development, design, um, six months ago we weren't able to make this contact. So yes, I'm very happy that we were able to finish what we started.